Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to do file synchronizations between folders on your computers or even different drives, uh, even FTP sites, and you could also use it for backup purposes and scheduling and that type of thing. So it's called Sync Back Free. So there's a couple versions when you download it. You could download an administrative version that can only be used by administrators on your computer, or you could download a version that could be run by anybody. Okay, so once you download it and install it, you just open it up and what you need to do is create a profile for your backup or sync job. So I have this job here for my pictures. That's a basic sync job. Last time it was run, the result, and so on. Let's make this full screen actually. And you can actually schedule these jobs too. So you have your menu up here for actions on your profile, uh, tasks for what you could do with the profile, View, Import, Export, Preferences, Support. If you wanted to buy the advanced version, you could do that. And then once you have a profile created, you could right click on it and you have all these options here to run it, uh, restore it, to modify it, delete it, export it, and so on. Okay, so we're going to make a new profile here for documents. Shrink this down so I can fit it on the screen. Okay, then we'll click on next. So now we have our options here for backup, synchronize, and mirror. So if you hover over it, it tells you what it'll do. Just a simple backup. Keep two places synchronized. And making a mirror image. And actually on the synchronize, you could do two-way synchronization. So if you make a change in one folder, let's say folder A, it'll copy to folder B. And if you make a change in folder B, it'll copy to folder A. So you can set that up as well. So let's do a synchronized job here. Okay, then you have these options here. So if it's a drive, you leave the default. If it's FTP, you could pick that choice here. And then we have left and right. So click on done. So this says it's now it's going to open the main profile window. Okay, keeps going off my screen here. So I'm kind of recording at a low resolution, so it's kind of making things hard to fit on the screen here. Okay, so on the left here, we have the simple job. You want to do network, you can change the type, left to right, right to left, mirror, when, this is for scheduling. Uh, you can make a hotkey to run the job what to do after the job if you want to uh, shut down or log off, what to do when changes occur, and then you can run a profile when a certain action is taken, probably insert a USB drive, uh, but this is not supported in this version. Then you can run the profile periodically if you want, every so often, and then the time limit for when it's run. Then you have notifications for when a job is done. Uh, you could do some searching, and then there's an expert mode. Okay, let's go back to simple. Okay, so we're going to pick our left and right folders here. So I'm going to pick documents. And then for the right side here, I have a secondary drive I'm going to sync over to. And I have the sync folder here. Let's make a new folder for the documents. Okay, so on the left, we're going from the user's documents to the sync folder documents. And you can make any changes here, set some filters, and this shows you what's happening with this profile, going left to right. If the same file has been changed on both left and right, the newer file replaced the older file, so this is going both ways here. And if you click on it, then you could actually change the settings here too. And then what to do if a file exists on the left and not the right. And then what to do if a file exists on the right and not the left. And of course you could change that if you only want to go one way. Then you have the same options here for folders. So you can see there is quite a lot to it here. So a lot of uh, configurations you could do. So I'm just going to click on OK here. 
And then you could do a simulated run to see how it's going to work if you don't want to do a full run, but I'm going to say no to this. Okay, so I'm going to right click on it here and just run it. Okay, you usually get this pop up here saying it requires your attention. I think that's just because it wants you to confirm it here. So let's just continue the run. You could also choose the option not to display this window again. All right, so we're going to continue. Okay, we have success. And now let's see what we got here. Okay, so here's the original documents folder. And then here's the sync job. Okay, so now on the destination here, I'm going to add a new file. Let's call this exclamation point. So it's at the top of the list. Put a little bit of text in there. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, so now let's go back to the documents here. Do refresh. And now there's our new file we just made there. And then like I mentioned, if you right click on a job, you could uh, do some restores. You could modify it, schedule it, delete it, rename it. Export the profile if you want to import it on another computer. Pause it, resume it, stop it. Change colors and so on. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty effective program and there are a lot of options. Uh, so if you want to check it out, I will put a link in the description and then you can try it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.